All right, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about the herringbone paver concrete stamp set from Walt Tools. As you can see, it's a very simple stamp. Uh, it looks a lot like the very common pavers because that's what it is. So if someone really insists on that paver look but doesn't want to deal with the hassle of the pavers, such as the separation, the, the breakage, the growth in between the pavers, go with the stamp. Very simple to use. It's a very common herringbone design. It's a down and back, which means you're going to do a straight row. You're going to start at the edge of your pour, set one down, place another, place another, place another until you get to the far side. Remember, you're going to want to have enough stamps to go across your pour and have another stamp to start your next row. So if you got to go 12 feet wide, you need enough stamps to go 12 feet plus one more to start. When you get time to start your next row, one thing to keep in mind is you want to offset. So don't set it directly on top of this because you're going to create this slight zigzag line. Instead, offset it a stone. Drop that in place. Drop your next one. And just continue on. And as always, when you get your set of stamps in, make sure you inventory your pieces to make sure it's the stamp that you wanted and the number of pieces that you needed. And remember, the guide to the number of pieces is you want to have enough stamps to go across your pour and then have another stamp to start the next row. So if your pour is 20 feet wide, and that's the direction you're going, you need 20 feet of stamps and one stamp to start your next row. Included in all the sets will always be your handy touch-up skin and of course your floppy. Don't forget the touch-up tools, grout rollers that are appropriate, and the, the grout hand tools that Walt Tools offers.